So, today, after work, well, actually during work, um, I was working in the intimate section. And I found what I thought was a really cute pair of pants. And, okay, here's the thing. Like, some of the girls at the store were like, oh, those are ugly. But then, the one, like, the other half of the girls at the store were like, oh, those are super cute. Those are smart girls, because I agreed they were super cute. So, I'm not going to show you the panties, because I feel like that will be inappropriate. Also, I have them on, which will also be inappropriate. Like, hey, look at my panties while they're on me. And this is not World Star Hip Hop Vine compilation. So, I'll explain them to you. Baby got cakes. Now, at our job, like, well, my job, in the intimate section, obviously, like, most intimate sections, you know, you've got your bra and panties. You've got your sexy bras, you got your grandma bras, you got your, your sexy panties, your regular panties, your cute panties. Oh, do they really have sexy panties in Rio? They do. They really do. Like, a lot of them come in the sets, which unfortunately I can't really get because it's the kind of thing where, like, I don't know, like, I don't know who watches these videos. I'll just talk to myself. It doesn't really matter. I have big boobs. Obviously, I have, I have really big boobs. Um, and it's really hard to find a cute bra and panty set where right. they both actually fit well. Like, um, like, let's say, for instance, I find a bra. And it's like, okay, this is a great size bra. Like, I'm just going to be real here. I, it's, it's a, I'm at a point now in my life, <laughs> I'm at a point now where I don't know my bra size. Like, I need to go and professionally get, like, not like at my job, we do bra fitting, but it's like... Why not do it there? Because they don't really know. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, I think it's this way. So it's like, I want to go, like, to a bra place and get professionally sized. I'll put it this way. When I was, like, 13... I was like a 36D cup and like I I was a D cup like coming out of the womb junior high shut up so then in my teenage years I was between like a 36D and like a 36 double D now as an adult I find it very hard to find like I know for a fact I'm not a D anymore like that's just not a thing anymore um but I'm finding I cannot find stop you're distracting me I'm finding that it is hard for me to find a bra that fits <laughs> you know it was making me mad you're doing this on purpose because you know I can see your hand creeping stop okay I'm down you <laughs> silly i'm finding it hard to find um bras that fit me in a, in double d so i'll be honest that's a little bit scary to me because i don't want to be one of those old ladies where it's just like i had an aunt bless bless her heart i had a aunt who whenever i was here I, hey. she would like hug yeah she passed away oh and like when we see it, like we all loved her, but her hugs, like oh my gosh, like literally your face in the middle, it was just like ah, oh, I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be like you know hugging my kids and it's like mom, I can't breathe. Like that's that's not cute. And I just remember as a kid, like I loved her, but I also hated giving her hugs because it was literally like you couldn't breathe for like. And she was one of those aunts that gave like long hugs. It was just like you just you just have to sacrifice breathing to give her a hug i, I don't want to be that person um but yeah i'm a little bit scared because i've never had this suddenly turned to turn turn into bras like it was supposed to be about it's supposed my to be panties. About your panties yeah i'll get into i'll get to that in a minute but yeah it scares me because honestly i have heard of a triple d but i didn't really think that was a real size or maybe it's a really rare size i've never consider anything beyond double d because to me it was just like 
you know, you got your A, B, C, D, double D, and those are all the big boobs. And then after that, it's like G and F, and it's just like, ah, that's scary, you know? So it's kind of scary. I don't like the idea of thinking that I'm bigger than a double D, but apparently, stop. Apparently, that's the thing. Stop. You're distracting me. Sorry. You say you aren't going to do it anymore. A lot. Are you lying that you're not going to do it anymore now? No. Anyway. I'll leave you alone. Thank you. So, anyway, it wasn't supposed to be about bras or whatever. I just wanted to throw that in there because that's what's on my mind. Anyway, um, while at work, excuse me, I found a really cute pair of panties. And they have, <laughs> they have llamas on them. Like... It's, they're cute like it sounds gross like llamas but it's cute it's, it's literally like they're just they're little llamas all over them and I think they're cute and they also had some with sea- stop they also had some with like little seahorses on them and they had um they had different ones but I thought the llamas were so cute like they had like the regular cute bikini style llama panties and then they also had llama thongs come and on now no they really did and it's like <laughs> no, and they, no were, llama thongs. they were really cheap too they're like $2.99 and I get a 20% discount so I got them for like $2.30 so like I got some llama panties cause they were so cute and I think I'm gonna get the llama thongs too but um yeah so like I got them like yay you know got llama panties whatever and I get home, and I'm just like, hey, honey, look at my llama panties. And he made fun of me. He's been making fun of me all night. He's just like, yeah, so what were you thinking? Let me get the most un... un what'd you say? The most unsexy... The most un- unsexy panties ever. And I was just like, oh. This is like... And I, I like thought they you, were really look, cute. Newborn babies and kittens are cute, but I don't want newborn babies and kittens on your panties. But this was inside that matters. I I thought they were cute. They are cute. I mean, I could have like, oh, I'm gonna get some sexy panties with the lace and stuff, and I have those, and I'm I still like those. But also, llama panties. Okay, put it this way: How often in your life do you come across? llama panties like really think about what was the last time you were just in the store like oh man seeing way too many llama panties llama panties just everywhere llama 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 every store you go to no you never see llama panties so why wouldn't you take advantage of llama panties when you see them seriously like you know you find lace everywhere see-throughs everywhere but you never find llama panties so the lesson for the day is when you come across or you you find yourself in a position or the opportunity presents itself for you to get llama panties you get llama panties because they're llama panties fine you can have llama panties I'm gonna get leukemia boxers that's isn't that that's that's a sickness chemo so you're comparing llamas like, oh, so to cute. cancer patients. They're survivors. You know what? If you had, if you got like ladybug boxers, that would be so cute. And I'd be like, oh. Or you get like palm tree boxers. Or like, like what's another animal that's cute? Oh, you know what would be really cute? If you got like, if you got like piglet boxers. It would be so cute. You know, like seriously, like, like if we had little piggy piggy panties like just if we just had an area where it was just like different animal panties I would get them all because that's so cool like llama panties like you know out of all the animals how often do you come across llamas like seriously really think about it just like I mean you've seen like oh panties with the little kitten on the front you know and it says something like you know sweet puss or something I don't know what they say or whatever are you like oh ladybugs or butterflies llamas come on llamas so I got llama panties today there's a long way to go 